Well, welcome back to another episode, you guys. We're out in Washington at a beautiful lake. Man, it is gorgeous out here. I've actually been here for, well, this is gonna be night two now. Um, I've been out there trying to fish, trying to catch a fish for hours upon hours. I just couldn't do it. I don't know. But that's okay. I'm camping and I'm having a good time. And I'm here with you guys now. So, I know this is a little bit different of a video, a little bit different format, but as I told you, I've been here since yesterday. And it's just been a nice, relaxing time. I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. It's been a while since I made a video, so... Um, I'm just trying to take it easy, take it slow, try not to hurt my back. And just having a good time. I made a delicious meal too. This is a subscriber dish. Um, one of you guys sent it to me and it is basically ground beef, sausage, a little box of mac and cheese, some rotel, and you mix it all up and is it good. I tell you what, it's a delicious meal. Thank you for sending me the recipe. Mm. Very simple and delicious. And that's what I like, especially while camping. <laughs> so like I said, I've just been taking it easy. I'm definitely glamping you guys. I've got like a hotel room inside my tent. <laughs> I'll show you guys that after I'm done eating, but uh, man, it's cozy in there. It's real cozy. Bomb outdoor style, you know, getting all nice and cozy. Just the way I like it. I know a lot of you guys say this is not camping, but to me, camping is just getting outside and just enjoying your surroundings. And if you have a little bit of comfort on the way, all the better. Camp your camp, you guys. Camp your camp. Here we are. Check out this hotel room in the woods. <laughs> Not bad. <sighs> this is so nice. I don't know how you could say this is not camping. This camping to me, okay? <sighs> the creature comforts of home. You can still have them while you're camping, okay? That's just the truth. <laughs> Once in a while, sure, you gotta go rough it, but man, if you got a bad back, you need something like this. Nice, firm mattress. This one actually has foam. So it's inflatable and it has a foam like pad. Very unique. I've never seen anything like this before, so I'm really excited about it. Nice and comfortable. I slept great last night, too. Really good. And of course, I've got my duck lamp over here. Looking nice. I did uh, stain it. Looks really good. That's, that's it. I'm done with it. I'm not going to do anything else to it. It looks nice. Okay, so yeah, it's getting cold. I already put on my sweatshirt. It's 54 degrees in here. Some of you guys wanted to know the humidity. 
Right now I'm at 80% humidity, 81%. Um, so yeah, that's what it's looking like. Oops, looking like right now. But yeah, the uh, ugly duck lamp's not looking so ugly anymore. It looks good. I like it. Looks really cool. <laughs> so yeah, nice, beautiful glamping hotel room in the woods, I guess. <laughs> Check it out, you guys. This is just cool. Um, the bed is from MK Camp. And so is the tent. You guys have seen this tent before. Um, it's actually really nice. I like this tent. It's inflatable. It's got the little uh, inflatable beams here. Which makes it easy. And when I had it before, I didn't have this solid, like, I don't know what you want to call it, like a door. This tent is actually designed to hook up to a Tesla. So you can park your Tesla right here, climb in the back of it. Uh, it's pretty cool, but I don't have a Tesla. I got a truck and I asked them if they would send me like a solid wall. So they did. So that's how I'm going to use it. I don't know if I could use like any other type of hatchback with this tent or not, but I don't know. But it's a car tent or car camping tent. <laughs> but yeah, MK Camp. So like I said, this is a nice foam, like thick mattress. And then this thing is just huge. Luxury camping, you guys. All right, I'm ready for some dessert. I've got some hot chocolate and a little wafer thing to eat. So I'm excited about that. Looks like we got the marshmallow kind. <laughs> now I can't remember exactly what this was called, but it's like a little wafer with like caramel inside it, I guess. I don't know. Then you just take your wafer and put it on top to kind of heat it up. At least that's what the direction said. I'll try it out. That is delicious. A little caramel thing. <laughs> we'll dip it in the uh, hot chocolate, see how that goes. Oh boy. Hmm. Oh man, that's a good dessert right there. I can't remember what it's called. I'll have to uh, look it up when I get home and let you guys know. I'm sure a lot of you guys have already had this before, but. <laughs> mm. Tons of sugar right before bed. So good for you. Anything goes while you're camping, I guess. Oh, that's good. Man, that just, uh, that makes for a nice warm night. It is starting to chill off, you guys. It won't be long and we'll uh, be breaking out the hot tent. I'm really excited about that. You guys know how much I love 
hot tenting. Definitely my favorite. Summertime always has the bugs and, and the heat. Today, literally, I had to move all my stuff inside while I was cooking because the bees were crazy. I don't know if it's like the time that they get kicked out of the nest or whatever, but it was just like a swarm of bees. It's a good thing I had enough room inside to move everything in there and still cook. I really don't advise that though. You shouldn't cook inside your tent, especially during the, uh, the summer months. Mr. Yogi Bear's out there. He's probably watching me right now. That's okay. Always pack your bear spray, you guys. I always have it on me everywhere I go. I have that. And I also have my Garmin, just in case something happens. You always gotta be prepared, at least that's what I try to be. Especially when you're out here by yourself. Oh man, what a beautiful place. It's beautiful. Feels so good to get back out and camp. Alright, it's getting late. I'm tired. It's time to hit the sack. All right, it's time to get ready for bed. Throw my sleeping bag down so I'm nice and warm tonight. It's getting pretty chilly, actually. I'm definitely getting cold. Okay, there we go. We're gonna be nice and toasty tonight in our sleeping bag on our nice bed. Oh yeah. Oh man, it is so comfortable in this bed. I really like it. I think that uh, I'll be using this a little more often probably. <laughs> oh wow, this is comfortable you guys. I'm telling you camping doesn't have to suck. I mean, if you can pull into a campsite with your car, you can bring just about anything. And that's what I like to do. No shame at all. <laughs> oh, man. Well, it was a long day. I fished and I fished and I fished. And I could not catch a single thing. I was out there in the morning. And I was out there in the evening. And I just couldn't catch nothing. I don't know. I'm going to have to say there's probably no fish in this here lake. <laughs> I guess we'll find out tomorrow. I think I'll do a little more fishing tomorrow. We'll get up early and see, see what we can find. So it's currently 56 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 13 degrees Celsius in here. And we're at 89% humidity. It's pretty humid in here. I guess I gotta stop talking. Feeling this place full of just condensated hair, you know. I don't see any condensation on the tent at all, though. I mean, I guess it's a little muggy, but it's not bad. All right, you guys, I'm gonna hit the sack so we can get up early in the morning. Maybe do a little fishing, get some breakfast, and just enjoy another day. All right, so I'll see all of you in the morning. Good night.
Gonna turn that old duck lamp off there. Right, good night, everybody. It's beautiful out here. It sure is peaceful and quiet. I'm sure you guys can hear the uh, waterfall over there. It's beautiful in the morning for sure. 
Well, I was fishing for a little bit. But something I noticed is there's no activity on the water at all. I haven't seen a single fish jump, surface, do anything. I don't know. It's really weird. Usually you see that, especially in the mornings. Just makes me wonder, you know. Makes me wonder. Maybe something killed off all the fish out here. I don't know. I'll have to look up this lake later, I guess. Well, I slept great. It was a nice, cozy night. Um, I really like that mattress. That's a good mattress right there. Definitely a keeper. We're going to be having some hash browns today. All right, I had to move inside because those bees are still really bad. All right, let's see how these hash browns did. Whew. That's a lot of hash browns. Save some of that sausage I had from yesterday. We'll go ahead and put that in there. Got a little bit of vegetables here. Vegetable blend in a bag. <laughs> Hopefully these are still good. Nice and crispy now. Oh man, smells so good. Oh, I'm excited for breakfast. It's one of my favorite meals for sure. Good old breakfast in the morning, you know, something nice and hearty. Get you fuel for the day. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you so much for this beautiful day. I just, I thank you so much for the time that I've had out here. Just spending time in creation, Lord, and just, just thinking about all types of things. But Lord, I just, uh, I just want to ask for your forgiveness for those shortcomings, Lord, in our lives. We will never be perfect until we're home with you. But in the meantime, Lord, we're supposed to live a life that is acceptable, that is pleasing, that is glorifying to you. And Lord, I just pray that you'll help me to do that. Be better about it, Lord. I'm not perfect. I'm not a righteous man. The only righteousness that's in me is through Jesus. 
if there's anybody else out there right now that's struggling that just needs to get closer to you lord that they will ask for your forgiveness and that they will seek to do what's right in their lives that they will turn away from their wicked ways lord as we have to do daily we have to die to ourselves daily help us to just renew that relationship with you that we can walk a straight and narrow path that glorifies you every day lord we'll never be perfect this side of heaven but lord one of these days once we're with you we will be perfected the way that you'd have us to be pray that you will bless this food to my body here watch over me the rest of this day in jesus name i pray amen oh boy oh boy you guys i've got a delicious meal right there <laughs> oh we're digging in we got it we gotta just dig in oh man that is tasty right there those are some good hash browns actually out of a little carton i'm digging it the one thing i forgot once again is ketchup i like ketchup on my breakfast <laughs> So I really just want to be real with you guys. You know, I sometimes I feel like maybe you guys get the wrong perception that everything is just perfect through all these videos, everything that I do, that you get this false I idea that I'm such a righteous man or I'm such a good, good dude or good father. And I'm just like you guys. I mean, I'm just being honest. It, it's uh, every day is a struggle in this world, in this fallen world. And that's what it is. Um, we live in a fallen world and sometimes it grabs hold of us. And I'm just, I'm just telling you guys that I'm not a perfect, perfect individual. I've got my problems just like everybody else. And I just felt the need that I needed to tell you guys that, you know, I, I see a lot of, I see a lot of comments and stuff that, that if you let it go to your head, boy, you could really, could really go down a, a wrong path and I'm trying to stay humble I'm trying to stay humble I just really want to give glory to God in, in everything to live a life that is more pleasing to him and just have to be honest with you guys it's not my righteousness because it's it's as filthy rags but Jesus's righteousness imparted to us that's what we gotta do every day, you guys. You gotta die to self. Die to self and live for the Lord. Ask him what he wants you to do daily, every day, even moment by moment. And that's just something that I've been thinking about these last couple days, struggling with some stuff. And I just am pouring my heart out to you, I guess. Just trying to be real. But you know what? The one thing that you know and you can really put your hope and trust in is that Jesus, he'll never leave you. Though we may stray, he's always there for us. And when we fall down, 1 John 1, 9, if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins. So we just got to get back up. Get back up. Keep going. Don't let the enemy beat you down tell you how bad of a person you are if you confess it to the Lord he's faithful and just to forgive you so don't let the enemy beat you down and that's something that I always try to remember we're not supposed to be mopey old Christians you know woe is me little Eeyores walking around we're supposed to have the joy of the Lord that doesn't mean that everything's gonna be perfect but but what the Lord gives us is an eternal joy it's a little bit different than uh, what we have here on earth. It's not happiness. It's not, it's not all that superficial stuff. It's a deep down joy that you get when you know Jesus is Savior. So that's my little moment right now. That's uh, my little soapbox, I guess, getting up there, talking to you guys. I don't do this very often where I just kind of really pour my heart out to you, but I felt like it was necessary this time. So I know this video was a little bit different. I'm just trying to get back in the swing of things, get back to a normal routine. 
And I promise you, there'll be longer videos coming soon, all right? So this is kind of just a, uh, a little bit of a different one. Don't think that they're all gonna be just like this. Ha, ha, ha.